Hey guys, I got some questions for you. So we're gonna talk about some questions from the Country Living book that I've been reading um, on my in my spare time. I've been reading it and I found another interesting uh, thing in here. There are many, it's a very thick book. Let me show you when I close it. It's thick, um, like me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, it is a measure of your food self-sufficiency. You can say that three times fast, you're doing better than me. So yeah, evaluating your self-sufficiency. I thought these were some good questions. I'm not gonna elaborate a whole lot. It's just something really to get you thinking uh, about what you're doing, what your family's doing, uh, what they're not doing, what they need to be doing, um, you know, and where, to get you thinking about where you want to be uh, in your self-sufficiency? Do you do you want to rely on the government in the grocery store? Do you want to rely on yourself? And, or do you want to rely on yourself and help others? Um, it's, it's all in, you know, what you want to do and what's best for your family. Okay, so the first question is, and this is just to get you thinking, uh, do you grow your own vegetables? And then there's a spot for yes, no, and a percentage, which is really good. And I will point that out later on, why the percentage um, in some of these questions. The next one is, do you grow your own dairy foods, such as milk, um, butter, cheese, yogurt, etc.? cetera? Um, so I guess they're talking about whether you have goats or or cows or and you make your own cheese and butter and all that. And I do know some channels that do that. Um, and I should probably, I didn't think about this, but I should probably shout some out that I know that do that. Um, one channel that I know of that I just watched recently do... Um, uh, baked cheese was Little Feet Farm Homestead, and I'll link that up above so that you guys can, or over here, uh, so that you guys can check them out. Um, they have some uh, different things, and they separate their milk into the cream, and they have a separator, um, and they do cheeses, and they I've seen them do all kinds of stuff. Um, and I think I've seen them do butter. Somebody recently I've seen do butter. It may have been them. Do you grow your own meat? Yes, no, percentage. Um, and that last question, there was a percentage as well. So uh, do you grow your own fruit, berries, honey, uh, sorghum syrup, or maple sugar, and use them for seeds in your diet? Um, use them for, uh, sorry, use them for the sweets in your diet. Sorry, I don't even know if I should, I guess I'll take my glasses off because it's easier for me to read. Um, so that's a good question. Uh, somebody that I've recently seen do maple sugar is um, the Green Acre. I will also link them up above, and I'm just going to do this because I can't remember which side it's going to come up on when I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, if I go this way, it's going to be that way. If I do this way, it's going to, you know, it's 50 per 50, and I usually get it wrong. Um, so anyway, and so there's yes, no, and percentage. Uh, do you grow your own cereal, uh, breads, and grains? Yes, no, percentage. Or bread grains, I should say. That's how I should say it. Do you save your own seeds from the garden and grain patch? So do you save a few of your fruits aside and you save your own seeds from that? That may be a good idea just in case there is a seeds shortage um, and you can't find, or you can't find what you want, or something grew super good and you love it, and you may want to try that again uh, next year. You can save some of those seeds and do it again next year. So 
Do you have males for dairy and meat breeding or easy, easy, easy I can say this, easy neighborly access uh, to them? Do you, uh, do your orchard and nut and berry patches include young plants? Are they growing? Are they creating babies per se and uh, continuing on? That's a great question. Do you replace every tree that you harvest? Is the land on which you grow food borrowed, rented, being bought on, contact, on contract, sorry, or paid for? I can read really honestly. Do you preserve your family's food supply by salting, drying, freezing, canning, or by root cellar storage and or I should say? Do you use cloches or a cold frame or a greenhouse to prolong your growing season? Do you have enough food on hand to feed the family? And for how long? One week, two weeks, one month, three months, six months, nine months, one year longer, or how long? Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean um, big fancy meals, but something to get you by. Um, you know, it's great to have nice fancy meals, but who wants to do that every single night? Um, so do you have enough to get you through, you know, if you make your own cheese and you grow your own grains to make your own bread, can you make grilled cheese sandwiches? Oh, and don't forget making the butter. Um, one of the things that I like to do is um, uh, once I start growing vegetables and things in the garden, I like to think about how much of our own stuff that we grew and did would go into um, that meal. So I would say, oh, well, the peppers and the onions came from our own garden and the tomatoes from the tomato sauce, you know, or what you what have you, um, came from our garden. So 50% of it, of the spaghetti dinner that we had, because I didn't grow my own uh, linguine or spaghetti, <laughs> um, or stuff to make it. I mean, I know you can't really grow that stuff. But, um, you know, how much of that uh, is part of this meal and how much came from our own hard work growing it. So sometimes I like to do that and it's pretty exciting. Um, and so the last one is, do you have enough seeds on hand to grow your food supply next year? Now, if you save your seeds from what you grow, you probably do, especially if, if it's uh, tomatoes or or something like that that you that grew really well in your garden and you love uh, and you want to do that again you know we talked about that save those seeds and and learn how to do that and preserve it learn how to save your seeds that's something that I need to work on I have done that with my flowers and plants uh, but I have not done that so much with vegetables um, there's a way to do some of them and a way not to do it so I do need to work on that. I'm gonna be working on that as I harvest uh, the end of the summer, this fall, whatever. I'm gonna to try to work on doing that. Uh, John from Will It Grow, I know had some last year and he showed um, tomatoes that he saved seeds from and I'll link him somewhere up here. Um, and uh, I can't remember what else it was, tomatoes and something else, because um, it was a while ago that I watched that video. But I'm gonna refer back to it when I get ready to save some seeds, because I'm gonna wanna do that. I'm sure there are others, there are plenty of other YouTubers out there that do it, um, but that, that's one that comes to my mind that I remember him showing that. So, and that's um, a good thing to know. So keep a log, a journal, uh, a notebook, and just write down, peppers, whatever kind of peppers you want to write, bullnose peppers. I'm growing those this year. Um, you know, how well did they grow? You just want to keep a log. How well did they grow? Uh, you know, where you might have put them in the garden, um, what problems you had, and maybe some solutions. Because this little pea brain up here, for me, I can't remember all that stuff. Uh, and as I get older, it gets worse and worse and worse. Um, and so, and I realize that, and I know that I need to make notes and I need to read because I can't remember everything. Um, 
and retain it, I guess. So I just keep kind of a log journal. So it's an idea of, of um, you know, what you can do. Uh, and you can also keep track of how much you grow of a certain thing. And the more self-sufficient you want to be, uh, the more you'll realize how much you need to grow to keep your family going forever, for however long you want. Um, so hopefully this kind of gets you thinking uh, about different things and making yourself more self-sufficient. Um, and hopefully this helps you, <laughs> I guess, is, is all I'm trying to do. So think about the questions. I'll put them down in the description um, and you can... You can print them off if you want. You can look at them and make your own assessments of what you need for your family. So anyway, take care, guys. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.